Welcome everyone to a brand new Pokemon Go episode. This is going to be a special one because we're away for the weekend. It's this little one's birthday Yay. today. So I've whisked her away to this little cottage here. It's so nice. Well, we've actually got our own private pool. There's tons of awesome walks nearby. And the weather, we couldn't have asked no, for better weather. It's hot. It's, it's hot. hot. Oh, I'm boiling right England. now. <laughs> it's amazing. We couldn't have asked for much more. This morning, we've already gone for a swim and it was so much fun. We took little Evie into the pool. We actually got told off for it. She had her very first surfing lesson to take a look at this little clip. And of course, since it's your birthday, we gave you a few little presents, a lot of them easy related. Yeah, <laughs> awesome little presents. So we're spending the whole time here this weekend. We're gonna bring you guys along, hunt Pokemon, go on awesome walks, and just spend some special time with this little one for a little birthday treat. Come on! Good girl. And they may be wondering why I didn't drive down in the R8. I had so many boxes and presents for Claire. I couldn't fit them in the R8, so we've come down in the A1 instead. We'll be driving around in this thing. So the start of our adventure actually brings us to Portsmouth, which is a coastal region here in the UK. And hopefully we'll be catching some Pokemon literally by the beach. Now, some big things that will be definitely happening this episode. First of all, I am literally a few thousand XP off of 25, which will give me for the very first time access to max potions. So as we can see, here, literally look how close I am. I've been saving it for this episode, so another capture or two or an evolution and we'll be rolling over to 25, baby. On top of that, look at that three-stop lure positioning. Claire and I definitely need to hit that up because that would be an amazing spot for Pokemon. On top of that, you guys know I've been saving up the full amount of candies for big evolutions and one that I'm close to, I think I have, is the Poliwag, Poliwhirl and the Poliwrath evolution. So potentially, since we're literally by the beach, we should maybe do that evolution today. I don't know. I'm undecided yet. Hang around and we'll see if we do. So Claire and I are about to do a little bit of shopping on our holiday break, as you do. And we've done already a little bit of a scout of the coastal area by the beach. And for whatever reason, it's actually a huge Voltorb and Magnemite spawn. Not that I need any. Claire just caught her first Voltorb, so it's really useful. However, guys, if you look at my screen right now, I have an egg to hatch. But I have a lot of great eggs saved up. I'm going to show you them in a second. So let's check out this egg. I don't think it's a 10k egg. I think it's a 5k. Let's see what it's going to be. Okay, it was a 2k. I've got a Geodude. Oh, That's really that good. Funny. That's literally perfect. So I'm at 34 candies now. You guys know the last episode I got enough to evolve it into a Graveler, but it's like, you know what? I'm not going to do it. But look at this. Oh, look, there's an electrode on our nearby list. This is mad. Out of his seven eggs, I currently have one, two, three, four, five of them are 10 k eggs. Five 10 k eggs at once. Who ever has that? I have no idea. My egg luck is absolutely unreal, but I think we're going to capture some seriously good Pokemon here. Pokemon we just do not find back home. I think I think today is going to be an epic Pokemon capturing episode. So I told you guys that this was like there was loads of Voltorbs and Magnemites everywhere. So I found a CP10, probably the easiest capture you can get, the lowest CP you can actually get in the game. As my final capture. This will roll me over to level 25. So, this guy pipes down a little bit. If I, no, look at they're mad aggressive. I think, I've got something to talk about actually since the update. So, if I wait for this guy to stop piping up and being crazy, look at him, look how much, how much he's trying to attack me. This is like the easiest Pokemon capture in the world. So basically since the update, a nice, great and excellent ball. It will increase the chance of capture, but also increases the chance of the Pokemon fleeing, which is a bug, it shouldn't be in the game. So be careful, if your Pokemon are fleeing a lot, it may be linked into that bug. But that is going to give us the XP we need. If we look at that, yo, what? There's a Machop on me as well. Yo, this is a capture I need. Yo, nice throw. Increasing the chance of capture, also increasing the chance of it running away. That will be the XP that I should need to roll me over. Like, yeah, look at this, 25. Oh my gosh, 25 as well, 25 match potions. I've got egg incubators, holy cow. Now, this is bad, okay. So you see what we're about to walk into, you see how many lures there are, you see how many Pokemon stops there are. I've, I've, yo, look how many more chops there are. No, this is literally the one. So we've obviously brought Eevee with us on this trip and my bag is full. Jeez, I hope it gave me all those items after I leveled up. Yeah, it definitely did. Okay, so if you ever get filled, just go to max potions, bun off like 100. That's what I'm going to do right now. Boom, get rid of all of them. We've got some space back in our bag. But the thing is, I can't go in here because we've got Eevee with us and look at this. What? What? How can you not allow dogs in such a beautiful park? What are you doing? 
So guys, we've made it to a triple lure spot. As you can see, there's a huge, huge car park. Car park? <laughs> what was wrong with me? There's a huge park behind us. And honestly, the Pokemon that are spawning here in Portsmouth are so much better than at home. I'm just about to show you the lure spot, but Claire's put down one and out's come a little Jatini. Such a good Pokemon to come out of a lure. We can't really ask for much more than that. So we're gonna catch her to this little guy. I'm gonna go for an Ultra Ball, you know what? Maybe a little bit overkill, but I don't, yo, come on now. Chill out, chill out. None of that jumping around business. What, I'm wasting Ultra Balls left, right, and center right here. Here we go. So hopefully our luck can continue. Honestly, the Pokemon we've caught nearby so far today, we've caught, like, I've caught a Growlithe, I've caught a Mankey that just appeared literally in the park where I just showed you guys. We just caught a Dratini there as well. There was a Ponyta on our nearby list. Claire caught her first, a Squirtle. You caught your first Tentacle as well. Literally just spawned out of the ocean, it's crazy. So if we have a look here, there we go. So. I'll put down a lure on this third and final one. And these are just goal spots right there. We've got a little tentacle, a little magnemite. So we're gonna set up shop here for a little bit and just spin as many of these poker stops as possible as these lures go through. And take a look at this. I have one, two, three, four, the five 10K eggs on the go. Two of them get extremely close. One of them almost there, the other two not quite. Something else has spawned in. Look at that, magic carp. Oh my gosh, this is literally the most amazing spot. Let's see what number it's going to 28, 28. If we capture this guy, we'll just be over 300 candies. It would be amazing to evolve into a Gyarados here in this episode, but I don't think we'll quite get enough, unfortunately. So I mentioned to you guys at the beginning of this episode, I may do the Poliwag, Poliwell, Polyrath full on evolution. My brother actually texted me today and said you've got to do it. I don't know if this is a sign, but look what's just appeared on me. This guy right here is a 710 Poliwhirl. That's a really strong Poliwhirl. It, it, I honestly may even take him and evolve him into the Poliwrath. So let's try and add this guy to the collection. I think he's gonna deserve maybe an Ultra Ball, you know? Okay, oh God. Okay, the thumb flicks just ain't happening. It. Yeah, this is not good. Yeah, yeah, baby, do it for me. Nice. Uh, no. Three ultra balls. Nothing. No. 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 no that's dumb. That baby. This is this is right. this is not cool. Let him attack and then we'll throw. Come on. Oh my gosh. What? what? That guy's actually got me on full on tilt mode. What is this guy doing? Jeez, okay, first throw, man. Disrespect on another level. The first ball I throw at him, he eventually gets caught. What? I think I wasted six Ultra Balls and like five Great Balls in this little guy. But look guys, one, four, two candies. That's so much more than I need. I think I'm gonna do it later today. Claire just turned around and was like, Ali, an onyx has just spawned in. Like, I have never seen a wild onyx in my life. So, obviously, you can only get it from a 10k egg or in the wild. So, any 10k Pokemon is so rare. So, it just backs up what Claire and I were saying. The Pokemon here are so much better than back home. <laughs> now, this would be special for me, but I've got, I think, four or five onyxes from 10k eggs. Have you actually got one before? Uh, no. This is your first one. So, Claire's getting her first one. And we'll add this guy to the Pokemon. And we'll add this guy to our collection as well. As if you've got 195 Pokemon. How many do you have? I have my last three Ultra Balls. Oh, oh, oh. A. 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 Just after the Onyx, a Squirtle as well. Like, the luck from these lures. Like, I don't even know what to say anymore. Absolutely crazy. I literally don't believe this, guys. Literally, just, just to prove it, just to prove it, just as I caught the Squirtle and the Onyx, a freaking Ponytar as well. What is this luck? What is the, I, I, baby we're moving here, like this, this is where we're gonna live from now on. So in our last episode actually in London, I actually found a ry wild rye horn and I tried to record it but the capture didn't work. No. So when I went back to edit it, it wasn't there so I couldn't show you. So this is my second ever wild rye horn and it's a 704, look at this. So this guy is looking mean, he's huge on the map when he spawns yeah. in, isn't he? Absolutely massive. Definitely, definitely gonna ultra ball him. Be careful, nice, nice, nice. Let's see how this goes. First time capture will be unreal. Just realize I'm showing my really long, disgusting nails in this video. Let's have a... Oh, yo, yo, I just realized that as a third roll. No way. I honestly think I'm close to being able to... Oh, 
Do it. Do I do it? Do it. Oh my god, baby. Do it. Okay, I'm, I'm just make sure I've got the lucky egg on. Okay, yep, yeah, lucky egg is rocking. Okay, guys, we are going to do it right here, right now. All right, so I've got some tactical plays for this evolution. I've just talked it through with Claire. So I've got two rye horns here, as you can see, and actually it's not going to work. Okay, forget the tactical plays. <laughs> I'm not going <laughs> to have enough well. because I thought I had an extra one. And basically, if I get rid of this guy here, because he's weaker, obviously, so I'm going to transfer that. I'll then be left with 51. And when you evolve, it gives you an extra yeah. candy, which is a bit weird. So I'll be left with two by the end of this evolution, but that's not gonna be quite enough to power it up. It doesn't matter, it doesn't matter. I thought maybe we could power it up a little bit, but, oh my gosh, this is gonna be some next evolution right here. This is one of like the biggest evolutions yeah. I've been waiting for, because it's such a big Pokemon. Do you know what the is on it? No idea. Honestly, no idea what this is gonna come out as. It would be sweet if it was like two times oh <laughs> <laughs> I'm so hyped right now for this guy. Look at that. What, what was that? I'm saying? gonna say 1,300 minimum. Okay, okay, good. I'd love that. I'd absolutely love that. What? Yo, oh, 1,355 with Mud Stuff and Mega One. I think that's a really, really Mud good move set. 15 every time it hits. That is so good. Where does this guy. Oh, yeah, let's have a look at him. Yo, yeah. it's such a mean Pokemon. I think him, um, what else is there? Nido King and Nido Queen are like. Three of the coolest big Pokemon. So if I go to CP list, hey, he fits on my front screen. Awesome, one, three, five, five. I really want to power him up. I want to yeah. get him above 1,500. So the more Rhyhorns we get as we play through, the more I'll be able to uh, power this guy up. That's amazing evolution. So good. Look at little Evie on the beach for the first time. She's loving it. Hey, baby. <laughs> Do you want to go in the sea? Do you want to go in the sea? We've literally found Squirtle in his perfect natural habitat on the beach by the sea. Our Squirtle luck today has been cool. We've got two so far and obviously there's loads of magic harps here as well. I actually uh, just bumped into someone that uh, basically works on the beach here and he walks up and down every day and he's got so many magic harps. He's got a 179 magic harp. I was like, bro, I will take that off your hand. <gasps> no, the Squirtle is being aggressive. He doesn't want to leave the beach. He doesn't want to join me in his Pokeball. Hey, there we go. Another Squirtle added to the list. I think I'm about 20, yeah, about 24, 25 candy so far. So that's an awesome little capture on the beach. What would this magic heart be? Come on, I'm looking for a 170, 61. 61 magic heart. Come on, where are the good ones? <laughs> good girl. Guys, we've stopped off for a little bit of food. A little Eevee BB getting your own seat. And look, my best ever magic heart potentially. I mean, it's not going to be the 160, but if I capture it, this is going to be my evolution magic heart for the moment. For the moment. It doesn't beat the guy that I met that had like a 171, unfortunately, but. No, okay, we're missing. We're missing out here. Come on, come on, come on. Don't run away from me this time. Don't run away. Two. Yes! Let's go! <laughs> so excited about that. Even a Magic Carp. See, even Magic Carp makes me excited when I play this game. My best ever one. 318. We're getting so close, baby. So while we wait for our food, Claire and I are going to take on. We're literally sitting actually on a gym here in Portsmouth. And the big thing is it's got a Gyarados in it. I've never taken on a Gyarados before, but this guy is mean. It's actually a really, really tough gym with lots of executors, a huge Snorlax. So it's not going to be an easy fight, but milkshake in hand, I reckon we can take this down and make it up. Yeah, we've taken it down once. Hey. All right, so you can see Claire and I's squad. What have you got going on on your side? See, mine looks weak, but it's because I want to get electric up front. Nice. After that, we've got some grass Pokemon. So I've yes. got my brand new Rapidash. I'm on yeah, Magma. Yeah, like that. And then just finishing up with two that I've got quite high CP. Awesome, awesome. I've done a similar thing, starting off with electric. I've got Rhydon in there as well, so we may whip him out for a little bit of action. So mm -hmm. let's jump in with that first Gyarados. So three, two, one. Boom. Let's do this. Obviously, you can see both of our Pokemon on either screen as well, so yeah. you'll be able to see us both battling it out. So good. I'm going to build up that Thunder. I got Thunder Punch. Nice. Going in early with a big move. All right, Thunder. Let's see how much damage it's going to do to this Gyarados. What's this Gyarados' special move? Um, I'm not sure. I think Bite is its primary move. Yeah. Yo, it's down already. Nice yeah. one. Um, 
I don't think we will never find out what his other move I'm was. I'm gonna switch to my new Rapidash. Yes, that's something that both Pear oh, and I haven't really done very much, which is switch. So I should do the same with you. So I'm gonna switch out to my Rayna. That does look awesome. Look at yours, yeah, baby. It's going down faster. Okay, fire blast. Nice, I'm gonna do the same thing. I oh, wow. Is it done loads of damage? Yeah, but I did get knocked down. Oh. I love like the flames that they use the Rapidash and Ponytail. Oh, it looks so, so cool. cool. Isn't it? I've got my Magma now. Oh, my Flareon's down as well. Mm -hmm. I'm actually going to switch out to my Rhydon just to give it a little bit of action since yeah, we've only just evolved yeah, it today. Yeah, yeah. So look, he's a little bit slow, but he's done doing a good job. Your Magma, nice. You've properly yeah. set up some, some good types here. Yeah. And yours is actually really powerful. One, four, eight, six as well. He's a decent well. Magma. He's just weird because he's got a butt head. <laughs> Poor <laughs> Magma. Oh, I'm gonna come into a big special. Oh, this Snorlax is gonna take a long time to yeah. take down his health. It's 2000 more or less. Yeah, I, like, we don't have a, anything near 2000, no do we? Oh no, we're gonna get body slammed. Uh oh, uh oh. Hang in there, baby, <laughs> hang in there. Right, another one, here we go. Oh, he's down too. Oh, no. Come on, Jolt. Come on, Jolt. This is gonna be a close little battle here. I love how fast. Oh, what is that? Oh, no, I haven't done any dodging today. I haven't done any dodging. Come on, get one final Mega Horn in before you die. No, we keep both using our special oh, oh, oh. Time. I think we're almost there. Almost yeah. there. Hey, well done, Baba. Look at that. Yeah. <laughs> so for hitting 25, we've got max potions. Now, they look so cool. Like Claire said this, like all the little like sprites and images they've used for the items in game are so good. So I'm gonna revive, for example, Rhydon here, and then I'm gonna use my very first ever max potion and heal this guy up. So it's gonna guarantee full health recovery. So really good on Pokemon like Snorlaxes or Chansey that have tons of HP. So that's our first time ever using that brand new item. Believe it or not, I think this is the first egg hatching of the day. It's a 5k egg, so again, a plethora of possibilities for Pokemon. The 10k eggs are still waiting, still incubating, not quite there. So let's see what we're gonna get today. I've got so many Pokemon underneath to get away once we get out of this egg hatching. So, a Krabby, great. Definitely don't need him. I've got a million of them back. Look at that 86 egg. So we've got the magic Magikarp, the Goldeen, and a Psyduck. I'm most interested in that little magic Magikarp. Is it any good? That's the question. 33. It's rubbish. It's cool. We'll capture him. We'll add the candies to our list. But I'm definitely, as a side, I'm definitely going to evolve a Poliwag all the way up into the Poliwrath for you guys. So we're going to get that done. So guys, I wasn't sure when we started off today's adventure whether or not I'd evolve the Poliwag all the way up to the Poliwrath, but I'm going to do it with the sea in the background. There's not a better place and I've got so many candies to do it. However, as soon as we jump back in the app, Evie, come on, behave. This is an exciting evolution. So I've got an egg that's about to hatch as soon as we get back into the app. It's just a 2k egg. It's a rat -tap. Absolutely pathetic. <laughs> don't, want, don't want that at all. We're still working away at our 10k eggs. We've got another, oh, we've got a Magikarp and a Poliwag underneath us as well. I'm going to quickly Capture this magic up. What is it gonna be? Come on, be something good. 150! Is That's that my best good. one? No, 155. Oh, five. you're right. Okay, well, it's good, it's good. <laughs> so that puts me at 329 candies. So, so close. The poly bag off with the side there. We're not gonna bother with it. We're gonna leave it alone for the moment. We've got so many candies. We take a look at my screen. We can see I have 161 candies. So, I've chosen this guy, 443, not the strongest in the world, but what I am going to do is just evolve him straight away into the first evolution, which is Poliwhirl, and see how he compares to that 710 Poliwhirl that we got earlier today that literally spawned in, which is a very high CP, and then work out which one we're going to go for after that. So, first stage, stage evolution complete, there we go, looking mean, I like it, I like it. Obviously not as mean as Poliwrath is going to look. What is his number going to be? 752, okay, fantastic. So, I obviously now only need 100 more candies. I'm going to power this guy up actually quite a bit. So, we're going to try and get him. I don't know how high we're going to get him. Let's see how high we can get this guy. All right, so we've got this guy up to 884 now. I still could do a little bit more powering up, but I'm going to leave it at that for the moment and then do the final evolution to get for the very first time Polly Rap. All right, little Easter's joined us again for this final evolution. Let's turn this guy into the biggest and baddest Polly Rat. I've seen a few in gyms nearby. Obviously, Poliwags are so common around here. This is the first time I've got it, and it's a perfect place to evolve it as well. So, 
look at him. He's got the biggest hands in the world. If that guy threw a punch at you, you're going to go flying. And you're going to be knocked out for sure. But what's the CP going to be? That's the question. A strong, strong evolution with Polywell at 884. <gasps> 1660. That's, you know what? I'm going to go for another cheeky power up. Almost 1700. If we go to all of our Pokemon, this guy is now third in our pack of Pokemon. He is so strong. And what a great place to evolve him. We've got even more Pokemon spawning around us and on top of us. So I'm so glad we did that. And hopefully you guys are excited to see such a big evolution. But I've never had this Pokemon before. Bootum appeared just a walking away from doing the evolution. And this guy is available in 10k eggs on an Onomite as well. So a hard Pokemon to find in the wild. It was actually one of the Pokemon I was hoping to get from one of the five 10k eggs I've got saved up. So to just randomly have him appear out of nowhere is amazing. And I'm definitely, definitely going to capture this guy and get a new entry to our Pokedex. Obviously, I still have to get him from the 10k eggs because he's got skinny candy so I can evolve him into a Bootop. So, oh, your guy's going to be feisty, I can tell. One. I genuinely feel like this guy's gonna run on me. Really? Claire's just down there trying to capture hers and it ran on her. That is not a good sign. Did you ultra ball her? Oh, she never ultra balls. No. Come on, luck out. Please, 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 please. Yes! Oh my gosh, so lucky. I hate seeing a Pokemon and then not capturing it, so we've just messed up our Pokedex entries. So there we go, another brand new Pokemon added to our list. Absolutely awesome. Only three candies, obviously, but if we then take a look at the Pokedex, we're 106 caught, 117. Which guys disappeared on us? Oh, the freaking Dragonair last episode in London, of course, of course. But what an amazing random Pokemon to come out of the lure. I love that. So I've just talked about Kabuto's, literally little buddy Omanite appears in the wild as well. So back to back 10k rare Pokemon appearing here. How lucky is that? Hey, first Ultra Ball and this guy gets caught. Now this guy is going to be a great evolution because his multiplier is over three, almost four. So that guy is going to evolve into a really strong Omastar. As you can see, not many candies unfortunately, but such a great Pokemon to add. So guys, we're back home now after an awesome weekend away for Claire's birthday and an amazing, amazing capture spot in Portsmouth, which got us so many awesome Pokemon. I really want to go back there again. It was so good. I loved it. But let's check up on everything we've done so far this episode. We got ourselves a monstrous. Holly Rat, I need to change the name for the right name there. Almost at 1,700, coming in at third on our best list. We got the epic, epic ride on. I can't stop looking at this guy. He's just one of the coolest, biggest, most bad acid Pokemon in the first 151. But let's not forget our recent list. We got ourselves an Onomite literally straight after getting a Kabuto, which is just crazy, crazy luck. We got loads of Magic Hearts, almost at 330 candies. I think I'll be able to get a Gyarados so soon. And then, like, literally, let me show you this. Look how many Magnemite I ended up capturing. I even caught a 24 CP Magneton. And if you click on the best one, hey, I've just got enough candies to evolve it. And if you go all the way, oh, yo, yo, let's not forget about an Onyx. An Onyx spawning in. What is that? I'm so glad I got to see an Onyx in real life like that. And then loads of Voltorbs. Again, 77 candies. If you want a Voltorb evolution or a Magnemite evolution, go to Portsmouth because it's crazy. But look what we've got lined up for next episode. One, two, three, four, five, ten K eggs, my friends. Next episode is going to be an unreal one. On top of that, as there's a time recording this outro, they've updated the nearby sighting list in a big update. So we're going to talk about that next episode. Do not worry. But hopefully you've really enjoyed another Pokemon Go episode. I've loved it. It's been such a successful one. Give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed. Tune in tomorrow for another episode, and I'll see you guys then.